Gareth Southgate has split from his agent Terry Byrne, according to reports. The England manager is supposedly owed a six-figure sum by him after a failed business venture. Claims from the Daily Mail say that Southgate served notice to Byrne as he was tired of waiting for his cash, despite him intending to pay the money back. The agent allegedly invested funds owed to the three Lions boss, Joe Cole and Glenn Hoddle into a £25 million building in central London without their permission. The move has been described as disastrous. Southgate and Byrne have worked together for eight years. Read more in FOOTBALLLINE of duty Gary Lineker pulls out of match of the day as he says, I've been silenced of and win a stunning VW campervan or £42,500 cash alternative from just 89p with our discount their partnership begun when he was appointed England under 21's boss in 2013. Southgate is in no rush to get a new agent and will reportedly wait until after this summer's Euros. The 53-year-old's contract runs until the end of the year and he has hinted at leading England to the 2026 World Cup. Byrne, who runs agency 1010 Talent, begun his involvement in sport as a masseur for Chelsea and England during Huddle's tenure at both. Most read in football line of duty Gary Lineker pulls out of match of the day as he says, I've been silenced Strip leads Burnley lead tributes as title winning legend Ian Lawson dies aged 8-4 BACK to Black Eustace replaces Thomasson at Blackburn four months after Birmingham Axe Italian job Newcastle owners, targeting £800 million takeover of European giants free bets, best betting offers new customer bonuses he then became David Beckham's personal manager in 2003 and oversaw his transfer to LA Galaxy from Real Madrid. Byrne then co-led the relaunch of New York Cosmos before setting up 1010 in 2011. How does Gareth Southgate solve Phil Foden dilemma? With Jack Grealish possibly missing out on Euro 2024, he supposedly also has close ties to Ashley Cole, Peter Crouch as well as Pele, prior to the latter's death in 2022.